So I'm joined by Neil McRae from BT. Neil, good to see you. Hi. Um, obviously we're here talking about NFE and SDN, two really hot topics uh, in the telecoms industry. What is BT's current strategy with these two? Yeah, where we're really focused right now is around uh, virtual data centers, enabling using SDN and NFV to enable quicker deployments of BT cloud compute. Okay, obviously two nascent technologies. What are really sort of some of the key challenges that you're facing as you implement these? Yeah, I think it's a good point. This is new technology, and with new technology comes new challenges, new issues, and you know, new niggles, as it were. We're trying to work um, through those to, to ensure that whatever we build is reliable and is kind of business ready for today's customers with the network services they want to offer. Okay. Now, obviously, to do that, you need to work with an ecosystem of partners. Um, so you work with a number of different vendors in this field. What would you? And how, how's that going? And what would you like to see them? Do more or do different. I mean, I think the vendor community has really embraced this technology. I think my my ask to them would be, what's your right to play? Why are you, why do you think you can add value in this space? And also, what what are you doing that's different that's going to help me be different in the marketplace? Okay. Um, you obviously the currently virtual data centres. Looking ahead, um, where do you see it being rolled out within BT's network? <coughs> oh, for example, the retail side going to get to see. It? Yeah, I think on, on the retail side, probably you know most of our retail customers won't know that we're using it, and I think that's quite important. But I think you'll see us leverage this technology in the mobile network space, but also in a in a commercial and enterprise space, you'll see us using it in in the global business and finance sector where we'll use this technology perhaps to help with some of the, the new regulatory challenges that banks and, and trading institutes now face. Okay, Neil, thank you very much. You're welcome.